That optic would be good if I... Ooh, nice. Another bullet. That optic would be good if I could uh, get a battery for it. But I'm using my battery in the rangefinder right now. Thank you for the follow, dum dum. And I know I'm missing a lot of messages, guys. But I'm just uh, a little nervous about being in this... <laughs> Where was he? Did he go around the other side? Ah, damn. I, I couldn't see a damn thing, dude. Uh, Sirson Gui, thank you for the follow. I, I didn't see him in front of me. That's why I laid down. I thought that that was the smart move. Jesus Christ, that scared the piss out of me, dude. He had a, I think he had an M4, something like that. It was bigger than an MP5. I guess I could have turned and ran and camped in a building, but I thought he was going to aim around the side. Yeah, I never saw him, Kevin. I never saw anything. Looting a military base at night is not a smart move. For all we know, he had NVGs and could see me clear as day. Oh, I know this town. We were in this town. I was going to say, we were in this town uh, fucking hello. around trying to kill dudes with uh, hello. Winchesters. Hello, 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 Hi there. Hello, hello. You don't want to fuck Hi with there. me, man. I killed all these people. What? I killed all these people. Don't you dare fuck with me. I'm a badass. You're a badass, huh? Yeah, total badass. Fuck, no, man. Kevin, there's no reason to think no that. Shit. Come on, fight me. You're, fight uh, you? You didn't kill oh. that zombie. I know there is a guy I'm, with that. I'm only fighting one EV at a time, but I'll fight you. Bring it. Come on. Come on. I'll take yeah, the lady first. Let's a lot go. Of zombies, yeah. So what, you're both gonna fight me? Really? Come on, fight me like women. Fight me one at a time. Let's go. Huh. Come on, come on, come on. Come yeah, on. it must be nice to have two of you outnumbered. Yeah, yeah, punch him, yeah. Yeah, see? Nice, yeah, All right, good. you wanna go? You yeah. wanna go? Let's go, I'll take you next. Let's go, come on. Hey, come kill on, him, kill him, wait, wait, guy, wait, wait, kill wait. him, kill him, kill wait, him. Wait, stop. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, these two guys are ganging up on me. Can, can you kill him? Hey, hey, get, get these two guys were ganging up on me, man. I'm taking them out. Come on, man. You said you'd fight me. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. I took out your friend. Now I'm taking you out. Let's go. Stop, stop, guys. Stop. Every, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. You. I say stop. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm good. I'm good. But those two dudes were trying to t gang up on me. Wait, wait, wait. I knew I could take them one at a time. I know. I know your sound. Wait, are you a YouTuber? No. What's YouTube? No, I am not like. Oh, oh, you know what you know like... me from? I'm the most popular Best Facebook gaming it. streamer ever. I'm like, I'm like the ninja of Facebook gaming. Oh, Wait, look who bro. woke up! Look who woke up! Not so tough now, are Wait. you? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, Man, I know you. Are you strong? Yeah, dude, I'm 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 the most famous Facebook gaming streamer to ever exist. Yo, wait, wait, wait. Is that you, Shroud? Yes, it's me, Shroud. Hello. Wait. Right. Hello, Luna. Hello. Oh my God. Yo, Luna. There... This man. Shroud. Oh. You Hi. Know, it's... You know Shroud? Hello, it's me, Shroud. Hello. Hello. I was gonna play in like a Volning <laughs> tournament today, but I decided to play DayZ instead. Oh, Yo. nice. You can join Man. us. Can I join you? Yes. Oh my so god, you guys are very intimidating with all your guns. I don't know if I can keep up. <laughs> all I've got are my fists. I'm pretty good with my fists. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen Shroud dance? Do you guys want to see Shroud dance? Hold no. on just a moment. Yes. Alright. <laughs> Yo, wait, wait, wait. Don't dance. Don't dance. Wait. Pretty good dancing, right? You never knew Shroud could dance like this. Oh, someone behind you. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. I need Hello. five gun. Let's go. Oh. Shut the fuck up. <gasps> I didn't go well, too well for him. Oh shit. Dude, this is my jam.
Although I'm a better dancer with Michael Jackson music. That's my preference. Do you guys mind if I steal this backpack? Do you mind if Shroud takes this backpack? I'd appreciate it. Thank you. So what are your names? Do these people actually think I'm Shroud? What are your names? You know my name. What's your name? Uh, I'm Luna. Lena? I'm Luna. Nice to meet you. No, Luna. That's Luna. Luna like the moon. Luna yeah. like the moon. Oh, I like it. I like it. It's a very pretty name. And Thank your friends? You. Oh, look, moves out. Um, Man, you guys are okay. badass, and you all match too. You, I'm really impressed. I can't remember their name. Well, I'm friendly, obviously. I'm name? just looking for a gun to shoot, so I can uh, do my shroud killing as as I do. You know how shroud does. Shroud always killing his friend. Okay, so we will not what? Shroud never kills his friends. Oh. All Shroud does is talk in the third person. Man, you guys are sure killing a lot of fresh spawns. I, I don't trust you. Listen, I don't trust you now. So follow you don't me. trust me? You could have been really friendly. <coughs> no, I don't want to be... Guys, uh... Wait, I'm being friends is fun. Shroud says being friends is fun. Time of death is... Okay, Shroud just got killed at the airfield, so you should kill them by the uh, the camo jail building in the northeast corner. That, that's where I got killed. You guys don't have a map, do you? Shroud would love a map. Uh oh, it's another dangerous Hello. fresh spawn. <laughs> Kill her! What's wrong with you? Hello. She's naked. Here, I got her. I got her. I got her. Oh, all right. You hit her already. Come on. Come on. Fight me like a woman. Fight me. Okay, she's dead. These guys are... No, she's not dead. Oh, lame. no, she's dead. Okie dokie then. Well, uh, if there's no map, I Time think I'm going to uh, just Don't head try. generally Don't southward. You, you're the one who recognized my voice. Could, do you know what town we're in? Could you tell me what town we're in? And then I'll just be on my, my, no, no my way. Follow the combat. No just idea. Follow the combat. Okay. Okay, come join us, okay? Uh, joining you where? No, because we don't trust you. Uh, you don't trust me? You don't trust Shroud? That's okay. Yeah. I'll let you guys go I to the airfield. I think I'll head You're a different way. I see you. I see you in the Twitch, bro. You see me in the Twitch? <laughs> like right yeah, now? Because that's, that's like not cool, man. <laughs> also, I'm the most yeah, famous I'm Facebook streaming, gaming though. streamer. I'm not. I'm not a Twitch streamer. I'm a Facebook gaming streamer. No. My friends see you. Okay. Well, you can't be in the stream and the server at the same time. Oh, You're gonna get booted for both. There, someone there, someone there, someone there. There. Oh, you better kill them. I bet they have apples. Yeah, these guys are the fucking worst. <laughs> Just killing every fresh spawn they see. Jesus Christ. They're gonna kill me soon, too. I'm just waiting for it to happen. But hey, if they go to the airfield, at least I know where not to go, and I can just go south and try to get some gun guns. It was one thing killing the two dudes who were trying to beat me up, but now they're just killing literally every fresh spawn they see. I'll be on my way. That being said, though, I am going to collect all the loot from the dead fresh spawn, so I have lots of food to get me going. I guess I do kind of need these pants. Let's be a red Power Ranger, shall we? Tell them about Twingus? Nah. Nah. Yeah, that, that, is, that is a weird thing, though. I never, I don't know how to handle being recognized for one. Can I please put hey, this away? Yeah, there we go. Idea. Let's take Hello? big ass weapons and go for freshies. That's cool because we are the dudes. Fuck you, bitch. Oh man, I wouldn't talk to them like that. They don't like that. <laughs> They're gonna shoot you. They're coming this way, man. I'd be careful. <clears throat> Here, man, just tell them you're with me. Tell them you're with me. They won't hurt you then. I promise. They like me. They know that I'm the most famous Facebook gaming streamer ever to exist. Oh, 
Huh, are they actually being shot at? I think they're in a legitimate firefight now. Oh shit. Blowjob pants. Oh my lord. I don't I can never tell when shots are in my direction now with this new bullet snap mod. Honestly, I might just try to get the fuck out of here. We got a shotgun. But I'm tempted, like, if they kill somebody, I might be able to loot the body. They're up on those rocks now. Noob is a state of mind. Noob has nothing to do with the amount of gear you have. Alright, have fun. Love you. We got shot at the airfield. Lit up. Never even saw the dude. But yeah, I'm hearing shots to the right and uh, up on that hill. So there could very easily be people um, sniping at them. There might be a body worth looting, but I have a feeling it's going to get me killed if I actually go for it, so... Let's take the little bit of loot we managed to snag and then head out. I think they're in that sandbag compound. That's why I'm having trouble seeing them. Don't see anything there. Daisy music beer hanging with cheddar. I don't know. I'm, these are all, I don't like these type of hypothetical questions. Like you gotta choose something to go without. Like what's the point of it? I like all those things. I like all those things and I'd rather not do without any of them. Ooh, there's the fresh spawn. Hold on, I wanna see what happens to him. Oh, no, never mind. Not a fresh spawn. Somebody had to have died, right? Like, there's probably a dead body somewhere. But he's going to hold the fort and wait for his friends to come back. Oh, my God. These type of players, dude. Why is it that people who use Q&E too much drive me nuts? I, I That always bothers me. I don't know why. Hey guys, let's uh, keep it civil in chat, all right? <laughs> let's just have fun. We're here to have fun. Let's not get hostile towards each other, okay? What do you think about the cool pictures I sent you of the baby? They were adorable. But I'm still very upset that you don't think I have enough beard to make up for that, uh, to make up for the, um, you said I didn't have enough of a beard to live up to that image I posted on Twitter, which is terribly rude. I have more than enough beard for that. Sorry, I'm flabbergasted now. It is Q&E, the leaning. I find that when people are just constantly leaning in game, I just find it like, it makes me feel like I'm playing Fortnite, not DayZ, you know? God, look at all this food. This is great. Dude, I, paper cuts freak me out, Aiden. So the answer is no at all. No paper cuts, whatever. Whatever the uh, the circumstances. Should I just try to go for it and kill these twats? I wish I had buckshot, not slugs, but... Yeah, it is just kind of derpy. It, it's just derpy when it's like the constant leaning. Like... Like, I remember, like, uh, like, Emil, like, can't help himself. When we teamed up, he was constantly running, like, Q. You know, I'm not, like, talking shit on Emil. Emil's a cool guy. But, uh, I just find it very distracting when that's the way people play. It just, it takes me out of the game a little bit. 
Jelano. Uh, holy shit, did I miss a resub? Beretta. Thank you so much for the nine month or for the ten month resub, dude. I appreciate it. And Snedge Storm. Thank you for the follow. I could sneak up on that hill. I could kill him. But I'd probably only get one before they get me. Hello? What's up? I'm friendly, but there's a lot of shooting going on. You got a gun, man? Hello? No. no. I don't have nothing, bro. Okay. Man, you're good. This yeah, there's a lot of yeah, people yeah. killing fresh spawns here. I'd be careful if I were I you. I know. I know. I know. sneak up it's so hard to sneak up man shotguns feel so useless on takistan it's so hard to get that close to people i'm gonna go for it i don't really want to be in this town where people are just killing fresh bonds i find that to be really boring but i think i'm just gonna try to shoot them but i have so much food to keep zombie. I don't know. Maybe I should just leave. I've got a, a lot of food and even a gun to get a decent start. But on the other hand, these guys are twats and I kind of want to show them what Shroud can do. Alright, fuck it. Let's, uh, here we go. Let's do this. Let's take some bandages. We've got enough food. Put anything extra in the backpack. And uh, let's leave the backpack here. Let's go give it a go. Why the fuck not? Hello. You seem to be missing your pants. Hey, man. Do you talk? No? I was gonna see if he could run interference. Fucking no micers. Jesus Christ, what is up with this town? No micers and fresh spawn killers. Eh, if he steals my backpack, he steals my backpack. I'm not really too bothered. Yep, they're still there. Now I wish I had the CR. Even a chambered CR would be great. This is a bad hill to be on because they are going to look on this hill. God, I'm bugged out with the speed running. I think I just heard somebody holding their breath here. Alive? Jesus.
to back off quite a bit. I don't think they see me anymore. I'm not actually entirely sure they were ever shooting at me there. But I do want to see what I have. Do I have anything, uh... Mm, no, I got nothing for CQB. Except for this, and I didn't get any ammo off of him. So I got one shot there, and then I've got my Tundra. I got grenades, I do have a knife. I knew I heard somebody holding their breath. Oh, I hate the scope. How's my vest? My plate is damaged. I know, right? Unbelievable how many slugs he took. What am I ranged to? 100. Okay, good. barely see because of the fog. <gasps> Landed right at his feet. <gasps> Where is that landing? Thought it landed right at his feet. The suppressor's nice and all, but it's making it so hard to shoot because it's so swayy. These are fresh spawns trying to take out the geared players, actually. I don't really think I want to be shooting at them. Now is when I should back off and just go grab my, gear, my food and get the fuck out of here. But I kind of want to kill these dudes. I'm, I'm kind of okay with just warming up with some PvP. Even if we don't make it out of this alive. You know. Dude, I always get that weird bug with the crouching. Dead body with a double barrel there. The ranging was tough. I thought I was on with 300, but I wasn't wasn't landing my shots. Uh, Tassie, thank you so much for the bits, dude. Oh, I do have a rangefinder, don't I? Three and a half. <gasps> Doesn't seem I'm not seeing the bullet impact. Eventually, somebody's going to sneak up on me here. It's both good and bad to see this suppressor staying in the server. It's good because I love it. It's bad because, honestly, it's kind of OP. <laughs> a suppressed tundra is a little OP. 
Although it does, it does give you a lot of sway. So that's the balance right there. Well, I'll show him my penis. I'm not going to move in there. Like, I'm going to hang out for a little bit longer and just continue sniping. If, uh, if we don't see anybody or we don't really think it's worth it, I'll go grab my food and get the fuck out of here. Oh, there's somebody in there. Are they going to fight or are they friends? They must be friends. That's probably the dudes coming back for their for their loot. I see somebody with a Mosin. Hit him. He's unconscious. Can't finish him off from here either. Where's that coming from? <laughs> now he's dead. Why would you bandage right where you just got shot, dude? Are you an idiot? these shots I'm hearing coming from. <sighs> Down. Kind of, pr I'm pretty sure he's only unconscious as well. I am not going in there to loot that at all. There's no way. It's pointless. I'll die the second I go in there. I'm just going to stay up here and have fun. Where are those other shots coming from? I'm hearing them, but I'm not seeing them. Honestly, I should move. Eventually, somebody's going to look up here. I can't believe no one has yet. Sidestepping while looting doesn't bother. It, I agree it's the same thing in that it, like, kind of takes you out a little bit and it looks stupid. But, like, you kind of have to do that. But, I don't know, the leaning thing is just weird. It's just so unnatural to me. I am so tempted to go loot that body over there. I think he had a double barrel. I don't know. We've killed, like, three people. I might just dip. In fact, I think I'm going to do that, guys. I think I'm going to dip. Let's go grab our food and get out of here. Yeah, I just don't get it, Druid. Like, they actually seemed like they were only shooting the original two fresh spawns because they weren't listening. But then they just started shooting every single person they saw. And that's what gets pretty lame to me. Standing still while looting is OP. Uh, Asamai, thank you so much for the two-month resub. Sorry I've not been on. Uh, I've been moving. Miss your streams. They're super fun. Hey, thanks for being here. And no worries, dude. You don't have to be here. Appreciate you popping in, though. Hope the move went well, dude. Moving is a bitch. Yeah, it's hard to organize them like that, though, Meza. But I was thinking about doing another beginner's guide, which would include get a good headset, because I think it's so important. There they are. I can see them doing their lean thing. Dead. 
There was another one. Uh, d oh shit, Death by Fear. Thank you so much for the very generous bit, dude. Bits, I appreciate it. Oh, look at little freshy. range this that's gonna be a tough shot to land i gotta thread the needle i need my ranging to be on 300 <gasps> he's never gonna stop moving he's this guy's playing fortnite like he's never gonna stop moving not that i exactly blame him i mean he just saw his friend get domed because he stood still, but. But eventually he's going to go after that body. Brad, dude, thank you so much for the freaking six month resub. Guys, sorry, I'm really not looking at chat very much. A lot of chaos going on. All right, let's see. You think I can hit him? Step into it? Nope. <laughs> oh man i don't know if that's dead or uh or what but all right look who's running back to his body huh what a twingus dude such a boring way to play oh i was hoping he'd step into it Because they're playing Fortnite, Pook. They're not playing DayZ. Alright, that shows me it's time to get out of here, I think. That tells me it's time to leave. Uh, Angoland Beast and Blue Mongrel. Thank you for the follow. I've literally already killed... I, I, I don't know how many of these guys I've killed, but I've killed, like, what, five people? They just keep coming back, dude. There's no point in sticking around. I, I've killed them. We proved our point. They actually suck at PvP, which is why they have to kill fresh spawns. Let's get out of here. There's no fucking point. All right, where's my backpack? It's probably gone. But I left it around here. There it is. Is, I think I actually want the Lone Wanderer backpack, I think. Just a moment. Thank you very, very much. All right. I think we're good. Uncle Cub, dude, thank you so much for the six month three sub. God damn, guys, thank you all very, very much. I appreciate all the support. I'm gonna run very far away, guys. I want nothing to do with this. We had a, a nice little bit of stupid PvP. I'm ready for an actual adventure now. Let's get out of here. I've got a shotgun and I've got a freaking tundra. Put the shotgun on our backpack. I know, I've just got so much stuff, Haze. I haven't bothered to uh, sort it out yet. But yeah, like, I'm so tempted. I, I would love to get that Mosin instead of this uh, Tundra, but it's just pointless. I killed one, I killed the other, and then by the time I kill the second one, the, the first one I killed is back for his body. You know what I mean? It's just laughable. We landed some good shots there. I feel warmed up. Let's skedaddle. We can look for a hunting scope. We can look for a... Uh, we can look for, oh, if we want, a Mosin. We need an SKS for CQB. 
We need a plate carrier, repair kit of some sort. We got a lot of shit to do. Radrick, Mobo, welcome, welcome. Hey, so hope you're good. Der Schling, what's up? Trill, Aaron, Wookie, AK Fosky, Asimai, I caught you earlier. Anglin, Doom Jackass, uh, Dao Tick, thank you for the follow. Just trying to catch up, guys. Aaron, Poke Smokes a lot. Blue Mongrel, Anglin, Beast. Thank you all for the follows. Brad, I got you for the sub. Death, thank you for the very generous bits. Asimai for the sub. Tassie for the bits. I think I'm caught up. Thank you very much, everybody. Woo, that was fun, though. Going from nothing but a uh, double barrel shotgun with slugs to plate carrier, suppressed tundra. It's pretty cool. Irrelevant, what's up, man? You know what? I'm not even going to look. I'm not even going to look. If I look, I'll get tempted and I'll go back. I'm not looking, guys. We're going to go to the oil rigs and look for um, leather sewing kits. Uh, Danny, thank you for the follow. Well, thank you very much, Asuma. I appreciate that. It means a lot to me. It's been, I got to say, it's been fun, man. It's been fun. I do need to keep TRMZ tied up in my basement. <laughs> It just been, we've been seeing a lot of new faces, uh, obviously, but no, I'm, I'm very seriously looking forward to Paul being back. Have you found the mountain cave outpost yet? No, I haven't. I have not, dude. I haven't found any caves yet. I gotta get on it. Also, I gotta hit up TRMZ. I was thinking that I could, we could do another team up maybe next week after he's adjusted to getting back a little bit. All about Ish, how you doing, man? Sly Almighty, I know it a little bit. Um, I don't know, like, town names very well. But, like, I know enough that I can, like, see a town and be like, oh, I know this. I see the sign of the town, the sign name, rather. And I'm like, oh, I'm in this town. You know, I know this is in the northwest. And uh, I know that, like, getting to the center of the map and then the north and south airfields are the places to be. Relatively new. About a month old, SMI. It's called Takistan. It's pretty good, man. Uh, my most recent, or second to most recent video takes place on Takistan. And I think it's one of my best videos, I have to say. That's not tooting my own horn. Uh, it's just, I think that it's one of the better videos I've ever made. And I've got another really good Takistan video that will be coming out probably next week. We'll see. When are you coming to Blighty so I can show you a real pub life with a real air? Where the fuck is Blighty? And also soon.tm. Khalifa, we teamed up not too long ago. Uh, we have both have a video from our perspective. We have... Uh, we have a video, he has a video and I have a video, both from each other's perspectives. And I think they're both worth watching. A lot of people commented on mine, like Amish's picks up at 23 minutes, but there's a lot of action that you didn't see from Paul's perspective. So I think it is worth watching both personally. So what direction am I going? Southeast, oh, we're heading back to the airfield. I'm pretty sure. I think that we went through this town before. Death, what's up, dude? Holy shit. We went through this town and we saw those two players before. That's not a military base, is it? Oh shit, it is. Yo, let's go there. Actually, let's go in one of these buildings, sort out our loot, and then we'll go there. That sounds like a plan. Holy fuck. Uh, Death, thank you for gifting us up to Geo Face Darkening, Long Neck Tipper, and Mean Joe the Troll. Welcome to Bird Nerds, all y'all. And holy shit, Death, you were very generous. Thank you very much. Uh, Billy Jack, thank you for the follow. Danny, thank you for the follow. Let's see if we can find an SKS here. An SKS for CQB would be pretty great. Oh, did you did you say I, you'd give five if I got some kills against those guys? All right. Thank you very much, dude. On, only one at a time. I try my best, Dirk. I try my best, but I'm not good at it. At Avenger! Come on, die, die, die. Avenger, dude, thank you so much for the five gifteds. I will read out the names in a minute. I don't like where I am. There could be other people nearby. Wildcats, what's up, man? Okay, so Dirk, 
Grogster, John, Mac, and Noob. Welcome to the Bird Nerds. You guys all have Avenger to thank. And all about Ish. Thanks for keeping it rolling. Gifted us up to Axe. Axe, welcome to the to Bird Nerds. Welcome back, I think. I thought I saw a gun on somebody's back. Hopefully this is a, only a damage plate. I can swap it out. Jojo, how you doing, by the way? Miss Britt, I caught you earlier. You were one of the first people here, actually. Also badly damaged. Thank you for the sub. Hold on just a moment. I just want to loot this quick and get out. Holy fuck, guys! You guys are crazy! Holy shit, uh, ass am I- Alright, right, let me get inside really quick, dudes. Dudes and dudettes. Oh, my lord, uh, all about ish, thank you for gifting one to Miss Brit. Ass am I, thank you for gifting out two- or a sub to Battles Frank, Beatles Frank, and then Brad Nixer, thank you for gifting a sub to Moonshell! Mystic, thank you for the follow. All right, am I caught up? I hope I'm caught up. Jeez Louise, guys, you're making it difficult to stay caught up. Bobby, thank you for gifting a sub to Andy Two Sheds. Mobotex, how you doing? Nate, gifting one to Schmecky. What is up, Schmecky? You guys are nuts. Thank you all very, 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 very much. People like it when you kill fresh spawn campers. That's something I'm learning. Oh my lord, it's a hype train. Thank you very much, guys. All right. Let's let's do the old Ishmael organize his loot thing, right? This is the type of content people are here for. In fact, I actually think it's because I'm organizing my loot. I don't think people like it when I kill fresh spawn campers. They like it when I kill, uh, when I organize my loot. Asami, thank you for the bits. Uh, Carb, Caribix, Carib, thank you for the bits. Oh my lord, death by fear, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, Devil Duck for the bit, Asami for the bits. Oh my god, guys, my feed. My, give my feed a rest. <laughs> Mo and Asami for the bits, Devil Duck, I caught ya. Brad, thank you for gifting one to Dookie Booty Jones. And then Mo getting more bits. Fishy Bong Waters, thank you for the follow. I thought you already followed. Regardless, thank you very much, man. Opal, no worries. Thanks for being here. Nick and Mo, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you for the 300. Mo for the 100. Opal, thank you for the follow. Ah! Alright. Let's, um. Rags down there. So don't be vain and don't be whiny, or else my brother, I might have to get medieval on your hiney. Open this up. Bobby, thank you for. Oh, Opal, not only are you a follower now, you're a sub. Welcome to the Bird Nerds, Opal. You got Bobby to thank. And Doggone Geoff, or Jeff. Thank you for the four month resub. Dude, I, I literally cannot keep keep track, guys. Slug, thank you for the bits. All right, almost done eating what I'm gonna eat for now. I know, I always say G off. I can't help it, Omerita. It's not my fault I'm a Twingus. Blame my parents. I'm the pious guy, the little All about ish, dude. God damn, bro. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know what else to say besides, um, maybe thank you. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Tommy Dabs, G Cork, Broken Outlander, Zhao, and Ron Father. Welcome to Burners. You guys all have all about ish to thank. Guys, I don't, I don't even, like, just spam an ass load of love to everybody for being so incredible. Thank you all. All right, we've got food that we're going to eat there. I'm getting rid of any used bandages at this point. All right, we are organized. Jesus, at least say thank you. Did I not say thank you, EMF? <laughs> Mero, welcome, welcome. Jay the Vet, hope you're good. Thanks for being here. Twingus Zed, what's up, my man? I know, I know who you are, Twingus Zed. I figured out the truth. Speaking of truth, how you doing, Creepy Droid? What's up? The truth is that Twingus Zed is sloppy D, guys. I figured it out. I put it together. I put two and two together. Amil1067, thank you for the follow. Amanda Torres, thank you for the follow. 
I dated a Torres once, but her name was not Amanda. That's the girl who dumped me because I smoked too much weed, guys. She's like, you play too many video games and you smoke too much weed. Also, you're too handsome. And I was like, that's a weird thing to break up with somebody for. I need better clothes, but let's head up to the, uh, let's head up to this military base. Hydro! I somehow lost my gift emote? You don't have this emote right here? To be fair, Dookie, I was a pothead. Oh my god, guys. Uh, Hydro, thank you for extending. That's getting closer. Oh my god, I literally can't keep up, guys. Well, it's not a bad reason, Squeeps. If you don't like if you don't want to be with somebody who smokes a lot of pot, that's your prerogative. You can break up with somebody for any reason, you know. That's totally her prerogative. Uh, and to be fair, I was dealing with mental health issues uh, that were exacerbated because of way too much weed back then. But she wasn't entirely wrong. Wait, which one? That's the military base one, right? Okay, let me see if I can keep some of these. Emil, Amanda, Bliss, Fifty Shades, thank you all for the follows. Mac, Tavish, thank you for the brand new sub. Welcome. Death by Fear for gifting one to Violent. And then, who extended? Who extended? Hydro, thank you for extending through October. You don't have it? It's a tier... Oh, oh. Ish. It's a follower emo now. But you should still have it as a sub and a follower. Are you not following? Sometimes, um... Sometimes Twitch gets all fucked up and unfollows people. So you might have... It, Twitch might have accidentally unfollowed you and maybe then you don't have it? Do other people have the gifted sub emote? Veer, thank you so much for the bits. My honesty? Oh, what about the um, the mental health issues and too much weed? Yeah, I feel like I'm getting a little close to that. For me, if I do it too much, it starts to make me feel anxious. I know that I need a tolerance break when I start to doubt myself. Like when I leave a conversation and I'm like, was that, was that a good conversation or am I a douchebag and annoying? That's when I know I got to cut back on weed a little bit because I know it's starting to get to my head. And I think I'm starting to get there a little bit. I, was, I felt very self-conscious when I was dancing at the wedding. And I may or may not have been baked when I was doing it. But also, on the other hand, I love dancing when I'm baked, dude. Oh my god. I just groove. Like I just, if I can get the right level, like I just fucking groove and have fun and I don't care what people think of me. But there was a lot of self-consciousness when I was uh, dancing at that re wedding this weekend. I don't have the gifted sub emote either. Really? Oh, God. Maybe microdosing neuro, but I freak out on mushrooms. I can't do it. Yeah, I I've had my fun with mushrooms. I'm done with them. I don't need to do them ever again, frankly. What is the follower emote? Ryder, we have a couple follower emotes. The gifted sub emote, the bit emote, um, hype, I think. There's quite a few, actually. Ami, how you doing, dude? Ish, I want you to have the emote. I made the gifted sub and the bit emotes follower-only emotes so that people could, like, when we have a hype train, which thank you all very much for the insane hype train. Veer and Meza, thank you for the bits. No Lace, thank you for the follow. Um... I want, I want the, the followers to be able to get in on the celebration of the hype train, you know what I mean? All right, holy shit, guys, that was ridiculous. Last time I'll say it. thank you all so much. This is the emote I got. What did you guys get? What even is that? Hype want. It's like a Doberman. Oh, shit. Very quiet car. Where did it... Where did it even drive by? Bob's, what's up, man? Did it drive up and over the hill or something? I don't know. Whatever. I'm not interested. Probably put that on my back. Maybe that could be it. Maybe somebody, if they have it on phone, uh, on their phone. Uh, Skug it. Thank you for the follow. Oh, yeah, John. Just easy on the caps is all. 50 Shades of Kappa. How you doing? Yeah, see, he's got... I, 50 Shades has I Heart Daisy. 
It must have been a Prius or a Tesla quiver. How you doing, man? Old fool, how you doing, dude? Yeah, see, I, maybe do... Are there any subscribers that have the follower emails? Old fool has none. Are you a follower? I mean, the follower emotes are in beta only right now, so maybe they're not quite set up correctly. Nate, Nate has it. He's a sub and he has it. Uh oh, too many. Uh, Plex, Adam, Soul, Squugget, thank you for the follows. Uh, I'm glad I got us back on the drug train again. <laughs> oh my god, I am such this. I'm so the stoner Daisy streamer. Ooh, I'll take them. No, I want to keep that as well though. That is an animated emote, Donkey. That is not a follower emote. That that is a subscriber emote. Deagle mag. I don't think I'm gonna want a deagle. Uh, Squeeps, yo! Thank you for the brand new sub, man. Welcome to the boy noids. Boy noids, the boy noids. No, not that one, Omerta. I hate that emote. I'm gonna delete that emote. I'm gonna have to go take a leak and uh, fill up my water bottle soon. Yeah, those are all the follower emotes. Oh shit, that's the way I'm going. That's a follower emote, Omerita. I'm gonna assume it's not anything I can deal with, because some people have them and some people don't. I don't I don't really think this is anything that I can uh control. I'm trying to loot all these houses in the hopes of finding a leather kit. I really want to patch up my plate. We haven't had to take a shot yet, knock on wood. But uh it's gonna happen eventually. Sounds like a mobile issue. Okay, that could be a part of it. That could be a part of it. Guys, I don't think I can hold it in. I, got, I gotta go. I gotta find a safe space and go to the bathroom. Sour says the baseball bat's actually a pretty good weapon. I like it a lot, Opal. I like it a lot. Such a gamer, my bong has RGB. <laughs> Dude, that actually sounds awesome. I would love an RGB ball. <laughs> Guys, uh, just a moment. I'll be right back. Guys, I actually think I'm going to be safe and I'm going to log. I want this character. I don't want this character to die here. There's a lot of dead zombies. I'm going to log just to be safe. It won't take us long to get in. Be right back.
All right. Sorry about that. I'm gonna try my best to wolf down this cereal while we're in, while I'm in queue. Gambler. Ooh, trash can man. Love the name. Huge stands fan. Thank you for the follow and gaming with Gambler. Thank you for the prime, dude. Welcome to Bird Notes. God damn, guys, you're going crazy. Someone made an interesting poll. I can't see it. What was it? I'm just clearly a nerd dingus. <laughs> Knock how you doing, Coda? Welcome. Daisy Jonah, I think I caught you earlier. Uh, Cordilla, what's up, man? Captain Banana Bits, what's going on? Good call, Amerta. Hold on. <laughs> just spotted it i don't really oh man how do i show hold on just spotted a trmz and it's just streaming room <laughs> holy shit that actually is really creepy looking i haven't seen uh the original whatever the hell bates motel what the hell is it called i can't remember what it's called i haven't seen the original one of that in a long time Zara, what's going on? How you doing? It's been a while. Zim Alt, welcome, welcome. Goldfish, what's going on? Nick, hope you're good. Psycho, thank you, Psycho. I should know, I am a Psycho. Oh, am I loading in? I am loading in. Gambler, I was wondering, man. Uh-oh. Did you hear that? What the fuck was that? Drunk, thank you for the follow. Gambler, I'm sorry to hear you lost access to your account, man. I hope you've been well, dude. Thanks for popping in. Walmart screwed up my AT&T account, bastards. Hello? I heard like a door open or something like. Ooh, crumpet. That's a cool logo. I think I'm going to swap out the pants, the shoes. Ooh, and I had some bugged stuff apparently, or I just had my um, plate carrier closed. And I didn't see it. All right. I do not need all these bandages. Get rid of those. Um, to be honest, I don't need these water bottles either. Cheds is downstairs. Lady Zed put him in his cage for some reason, and I wasn't going to override her ruling. She must have put him in his cage for a reason, so I'm going to leave him in there for now. She'll be home pretty soon, though. I don't think she'll be long. I've been good, Gambler. I've been good. I don't know. I'm trying to think of stuff that happened since I've seen you. We went on our honeymoon, went to a wedding yesterday. Our own, uh, like, recommitment ceremony, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, is, uh, September. So looking forward to doing that. It's been good. I got to meet my friend's baby le yesterday. She was so cute. Oh my god, she was so damn cute. Load-in animation sounds. See, I'm not used to hearing any load-in animation sounds. I still... Oh, shit, did I leave the knife in the boots? I need the, uh, that knife. Nah, not baby fever time, Meza. I, a lot of my friends have babies now that I'm like, oh, they're so cute, I'm not ready to have one yet. <laughs> like, I, I'm very aware that, uh, that it really changes your lifestyle, and I'm not ready for that change yet. I'm happy to just hold my friends' babies and, uh... And be a fun uncle, godfather, whatever the fuck. Always pull out. Oh, God. I do not understand people who rely on the pullout technique. You must be have much better reflexes than I do. Because I do not trust myself to use nothing but the pullout technique. No fucking way, dude. Absolutely not.
What is this? Ooh, Jez! Let's take Jez's shoes. We got a storm rolling in, too. Number six, Eagle. Congratulations. That's a lot of chillins. You thought I was a dad? No, I'm not a dad. I am a dad to a bird. That is it. Think I can get there before the sandstorm? I'm already losing health. But I'm going to go for it anyways. Can confirm. Pull out is not effective. Eagle. I know... I know one family who has their son because the pull out method is not effective. Yeah, look at those shoes, baby. Look at that. Gorgeous. I also really dig the uh, emote that Doc Strangelove made for you, Jez. The waving. I think it's cool that he's got like a zombie arm in his hand. Not to mention, I love his teeth. His smile is so cute. It's like this little, I don't know, that cute little cartoony smile. I love it. It's so good. Happy little COVID baby. Bo, congratulations. I hope she's doing good. I'm proof it's not effective. I'm proof that even one time without protection is enough. I, I don't know why I know this, but apparently literally the first time my parents didn't use protection. Boom. Amish said is born. Yeah, I'm not willing to risk it, Isaac. Personally. <laughs> Mastered it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't I don't need to know about everyone's sexual preferences and freaking birth control methods. <laughs> yeah, you did a great job. I like the heart too. Ever seen the movie The Naked Gun? No, I have not, Therese. Trez, I have not. Uh JPG, thank you for the follow. JPG, I feel like that was... I feel like you had already followed Barbosa. Am I wrong? I don't know. Sometimes Twitch messes up. Oh, uh, wait. That was from Naked Gun? Why did I think that was in Coneheads, Trez? I have seen that scene. Age-old birth control method of being single. I used that for many years. It worked pretty well for me. Children are just sex trophies. Not wrong. Technically, you're not wrong. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take advantage and try to wolf this down while nobody's shooting at us. Exactly, Carlos. Exactly. I can't deal with it. That is disgusting, Cheeky Breaky. You're not wrong, but you are disgusting. I have a friend who's only 32 and he already got the step step Mathis. I'll probably do that once I have kids, but I ain't doing it before I have kids. I, I definitely know that I, I want to have the option, let's say. I want to have the option. I really hope I can find this area. If I pick the wrong hill, I could be screwed. I've kind of changed my angle a couple of times. I could be going up the wrong hill. Could be really bad. Good for you, Suplex. As long as you're as long as you're confident in that decision. I'm like, oh man, I can't I can't make that decision. I, I'm not confident in any decision I make enough for anything to be permanent. Like tattoos are the most like permanent decisions I've ever been able to make, you know? Like I want I plan on being with Lady Zed for the rest of my life, but even marriage isn't a permanent decision, you know what I mean? Getting the old snip snip, that's a permanent Well, you can reverse it, right? I just remember Michael Scott in um in the office, and he's like He's like, first you said you didn't want kids, so I got the vasectomy. Then you decided you wanted kids, so I reversed the, the vasectomy. Then you decided you didn't want to have kids, so I got it again. Snip, snap, snip, snap. Do you have any idea the toll that three vasectomies has on a man? <laughs> yes, children is the most permanent decision. You're right, Mo. It's not too bad, I think, D-Bear. 
Apparently my dad set a trend of um, men in their like friend group getting them. My dad got it done and then my stepdad, because my dad and my stepdad were friends, guys. Kind of odd. Is this the radio tower? There's no way that this is like the radio tower, right? Like where uh, Smithers and I got into that firefight? Which direction am I facing right now? Where's my compass? Oh my God, this is. Holy shit, I did not realize where I was. Jojo, have a good one. Thank you for hanging out. I want this. I want that zombie to come after me. Yeah, they were like good friends on their time. But my dad lost touch with him, and then like years and years later, after my dad got divorced, he kind of like, I don't know what the hell, where the hell he went. But um, my stepdad and him didn't keep in touch. And then years and years later, my stepdad was getting divorced. His wife decided to leave him. He didn't know anybody who had been through it. So he called my mom asking for advice and they ended up falling for each other. It's a bit awkward. Good, good call, you bone. Good call. Wrap it up, kiddos. Not really a fan of looting this with a tundra as my CQB weapon. Oh, bad area to be logging back in. It was a badly damaged vest, Nashville. But yes, damage over badly damaged. Hey, I'm Bones. How you doing, dude? Hope you're good. Oh, God, Isaac. Please throw some Kappas in there. You know, there are people who are actually, like, like mentally ill and actually do want to catch STDs. Like, that is so fucking weird, dude. That's That shit is disgusting. I am comfortable kink shaming that particular kink, Isaac. A kink, kink shaming that uh, something that can hurt somebody. I, I'll shame that. Although I suppose if you literally are just like, all right, I'm gonna be open. I am all about having STDs, and then I'm going. Don't quote this, please. You're gonna be open about it and as long as you tell people. I don't know, but still, either way, that's a fucking weird one to me. I'll shame that one. Oh, it's a thing, Miss Britt. If you can think of it, it's a thing. All right, hold on just a second. The Daisy Gods heard you say fine and uh, you don't get to loot it. Damn that. Damn Daisy Gods always listening to me. Screwing up my plans. My kink is kink shaming. <laughs> There probably is, though, Trez. I mean, there's a lot of people that, like, get off on, like, being, like, degraded. There are probably people who, like, want somebody to be like, you're disgusting for being into that. How dare you? That's what Lady Zed and I are like. She's like, you're disgusting. Liking missionary. What's wrong with you? Oh, my God. Liking sex within the bounds of marriage. You disgusting son of a bitch. What is wrong with you? How dare you? Disgusting. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god, we should move on. We should move on. So we probably won't have the storm anymore, which is good. I can back off and just kind of overlook a little. Thanks, yeah, I am. I am your real dad. Yeah, no, no storm anymore. Let's back off and overlook the area.
Once I get my damn SKS, I'll feel better. I just, I just feel so vulnerable with nothing but a double barrel with slugs in it. I thought I'd be able to see into the area. I just gotta get further away. I really thought I was heading north. I was, I got very confused when I ended up here of all places. And I'm still very confused because I can't even tell if I'm actually where I think I am. Yeah, I honestly have no flipping clue. None of this feels right. Slugs are good on double shot, but I prefer buckshot for the spread if I'm going to use it as CQB. If I, the only advantage the double barrel has over the Tundra CQB is that the double barrel is just pop, pop. But Tundra double barrel CQB wise are almost the same, you know? Although I think the Tundra would actually do more damage. Time for horny jail. That's a good emote. Whose emote is that? That is a solid emote right there. Tasty? Clever emote, I like it. I kink his dudes trying to open jars. Oh baby, have I got a clip for you? I am so confused. I really thought I'd be able to see the lower part of it when you get further away. I've I've done that before. Here we go, okay. And aim. There is 100% somebody here. No doubt in my mind that somebody's here. Question is where? There is no convoy. I'm so bummed, Crusader. I know that they had to take it out eventually. But, oh, man. There's no convoy. I'm sure they'll do something like that again eventually. But I think it's a lot of work on the, the uh, admins' parts. Tommy, how you doing? Right in there is where we did the uh, trade with the nade launcher, right? Pretty sure it was right in there. What about the admin parts? It's a lot of work for them to make that thing happen. I will say, let's uh, avoid, like, you know, like, uh, definitely, let's avoid, well, I think we should just move on from the subject. But, uh, yeah, let's not, like, share random freaking disgusting things to look online. I don't really want that getting shared here. Damn it, every single one is badly damaged. I used to get some that were uh, only regular damaged. If I could get an SKS, I'd feel a lot more comfortable looting this area. Oh, shit. Up the buggy, 
As long as they don't ruin my plate. Jux, what's going on, man? Hope you've been well. We having a little paella, baby? We can if you want. What's paella again? I forget. Isn't that like the chicken and stuff? I can't even remember. Dude, thank you for the nine month resub. Paella, baby, indeed. And thank you for the follow, Cruz. I'm not, I'm actually not joking. I should know what paella is. Because I was in the immersion program. We, we learned a lot about Spanish cuisine. I can't remember. It's like seafood and chicken, right? Come here, come here, come here. Thank you for the follow, Brand, Brand, Brat, Brand, Brandini. Other people who are here are gonna have full plates. Is the problem? Not seeing any dead zombies, so I think it's time to head down into there. You know, actually, I want to go to the other side. I'm actually tempted to head down there and look for a leather kit or epoxy before we go in. Then I'm Amish Zed's killer aim. Have you been watching this stream, Tommy? Although I did land a pretty good shot earlier. That guy swaying about in the sandbag compound. I'm pretty proud of that shot. Rock soup is my thing. Please tell me you're referencing uh, Horn Eater Soup from um, Stormlight Archives. I doubt it, Joy, but I'm going to pretend that you are. Just imagine they're a teammate. Oh, God. Who was it that we shot here? It was the guy we were playing with after, with OG. I forget his name. It was like John or James or something. Oh, I felt so bad about that. That was such a, sh that was a bad ishing. It was an ish-ish, because I didn't kill him. I only shot him. But that was a bad one. Embarrassing stuff right there. Shameful shit it was. Lagrid zombies. Need a CQB weapon. Birch, I'm good, man. I'm good. Thanks for being here. We're having a good little run. Got a Tundra and a Scope. Just need to get a close quarters weapon and we'll be golden. Oh wait, that's the one thing about the bat, is I can't sneak attack. I thought paella was from Spain. Is that from Mexico? Oh, damn it. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was from Spain. I'm only asking because I saw somebody in chat ask if it was from Mexico. I thought it was Span like from Spain. España. I'm looting these, these Quonsets are, is going to be the death of me. I can feel it. There's always somebody like behind them. Let's 
get in here. I don't need him here, no evil, because I've got the real suppressor that goes on this gun, which is like a little OP. But I'm not going to complain for now. We need to get an SKS, because we can pop it on the SKS, too. We've got two of them. Oh, that's a good find. That's a good find. No more convoy. Nah, the convoy's not a thing anymore. Player on the hill. Whoops, I didn't actually mean to do that. I know there's a gun. It's a UMP. I don't have ammo for it. Got me good and paranoid. Yeah, problem is, is I have no idea which hill. Yeah, well, it's it's all right, man. I, I'll either spot him or I won't, because saying player on a hill doesn't actually help. It just actually makes it difficult. What hill? By the time uh, I look, he's no longer there. To be honest, I'm just kind of always assuming that somebody's nearby. M16, baby. Uh, let's get rid of that because I don't even really like it, frankly. Do I have ammo for the M16? I don't know. Bummer. Big ol' bummer. Oh, let's find a mag, dude. That would be awesome. Ooh, AK rail mount. I like that. I like that. I never finished looting the top section. So, oh, I can check this uh, this little sandbag compound while I'm down here. I don't think I'm willing to climb the ladder. I think that that's gonna be a death sentence. Let's bring these zombies in here. Kill them. We got like one or two more clones that salute and then we're good. Peter. Oh. Oh, he's just a freshie. Does he have my SKS? I think I saw an SKS on him. He may have seen me. In fact, I actually think he did. If he's got my SKS, he's going to die. It's a lot. It's because I've got a suppressor on it. It really increases the sway. 
But it was really, really helpful earlier. When we were uh, fighting the, that squad of fresh spawn campers, it was really nice having a suppressed, piss, or suppressed tundra. So it made a huge difference. Bro, will you die? And not attack me like a buggy fucking nightmare? I could just try to talk to him and, and hold him up or something. I may even be able to trade the SKS for the double barrel if I can uh, get eyes on him and get close. My only issue with the suppressed SVD is I don't like the PSO1 scope. So if you find another scope for it, I'm all about it. Oh, never mind. You really gotta, like, really work to finish these guys off. <gasps> shit, shit, shit. Oh! I forgot I had the double barrel. Good, my plate's still up. Very difficult to snipe him when I've got that freaking when I'm that close. Kevin, do, do me a favor, man. Just, just chill a little bit, dude. Just a little bit. I, I don't need word for word bossing around, okay? I'm going to play it the way I'm going to play it, and that's just going to be the way it's going to be. I would rather keep the scope on and stay back and snipe him. Taking the scope off and using the Tundra as CQB is not, in my opinion, the right move. But I do appreciate you pointing out the player. But yeah, it's just, it's just a little much, man. I'm going all the way around. I'm going to get back to the top. Let him be an idiot. It's way more hilarious. Uh, I'm going to go all the way back to the top and try to spot this dude. Although, oh, I got to cover the body. He could go try to loot that body, and I can't have that. Appreciate it, dude. Yeah, I got I to gotta cover the body. If he loots it, I need to kill him. I didn't think it was the same guy, but I did not expect to be ambushed all of a sudden there. And guys, let's uh, let's just no, let's not pile on or anything, you know. But we ain't really Polly, thank you so much for the five month resub, Polly. I hope you're well, dude. Dude, I love that. Uh, I love that I'm freaking like, I'm killing zombies with a suppressed tundra. WRC, what's up, man? Thank you for the gifted. Oh, man. I really wish I had had two buckshots. I would have fired both, but that guy was moving around, and I was worried I was going to kill the zombie instead of him. I had already killed one of his zombies, and I didn't want to kill another one. Hopefully he doesn't know where the body is.
Frankly, I don't even really know where the body is. It's up ahead, right? If I get some CQB on this guy or a better plate, that would be really, really cool. Where was he? I actually don't remember. He was around here. Nah, he wasn't on the road. Oh. That's a bush. Legitimately thought I saw a player crouch in there. Thank you for all the follows rolling in, guys. Wasn't he... Was he further up the hill here? He was coming down from the hill, and I'm 90% sure he was to the right of the road. W, we're doing pretty good, man. It's been a fun run so far. Usually from this far away, we can see. But I gotta focus on the player. Sing lullaby, sing, sing OG a lullaby, LJ? Sounds like fun. I'd rather just tuck him in and spoon him until he falls asleep. I think OG likes being Little Spoon. Most, most like, tough dudes like being the Little Spoon. I know, because I'm a tough dude. Yeah, I can't go looking for this body while there's a player about. Oh, oh, unless I just found it. It might have been on a different hill, honestly. OG likes being the big scissor. <laughs> He's probably gonna look in the area where he last saw me. Maybe I should stay like down this hill. This kid looted my kill. Oh, what's that? That is the player. All right, I want that SKS. He's gonna get me killed. Oh, shit. Badly damaged to better tundra, in my opinion. gonna swap out some of this stuff and back off a minute he had the same level of body armor as i had already loaded good also loaded now with a suppressor I'm straight up backing off. I don't know where the other guy is, but I don't really see the need to kill him. I think he's got less gear than I have. Let's go, uh, let's go find somewhere to sort out the loot a little bit.
Well, I want to patch up my body armor. I don't know if that was actually at me. The bullet snap mod, while I like the idea, it has really made me doubt impacts and stuff and whether or not shots are at me at times. He seemed like he was shooting at me, but I don't know. It's really hard to tell. But this is more important than fighting him right now. It felt close, but a lot of times people are shooting at zombies and you hear the bullet snap. I saw somebody say something about a full M16 mag. I didn't see one. But I do kind of want to get my M16 loaded up. If I can. That all the ammo? Okay. But I still think I'm going to use the suppressed SKS for now. Yeah, exactly, Eku. So it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. I still have no I want the M16 on my backpack I don't really want it on my uh, on my shoulder I'm gonna stick with the SKS for now see if we can get this dude and maybe get a little more M16 ammo and then get the fuck out of here Joe Affons, welcome. Eku, hope you're good. Uh, Alpaca, what's going on? W, I caught you, man. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Calstar. Appreciate that. Hunter Bravo, thank you for the bits. El, El, Eleva, Scorpion, Cyber, La Fit, and Tweeds. Thank you for the files, guys. I know, dude. There's this new suppressor that fits on Mosin's, SKS's, and Winchester's, dude. They're crazy. So I have a suppressed Winchester right now and a suppressed SKS. I honestly kind of think it's a little OP on the Tundra and the Mosin. I feel like sniper rifles need the disadvantage of having either only three shot suppressors or no suppressors at all. But I'm going to use it if I've got it. Yes, modded. Evil skills. How you doing? Dervy. What's up? Just in time. Checo. Welcome. Twingus. I gotcha. No, no. Vanilla. Er, modded, 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 everybody. Phoenix. Welcome. I get pretty good ping, Novak. It depends on the server. I've been struggling to get good enough good enough ping on Spaggy's low ping Cherno EU server. Um, and again, like it's good that it's a low ping server. If I can't play on it, I'm that's fine. Other people get to play on it and it's gonna run really well for them. Um, but like Zero, um, Zero is the only other one I can think of at the moment. I think Karma Crew are EU based. Musty, thank you for the 23 month resub. Two years incoming, you sexy bastard. I hope you're good. It's kind of a tough military base to snipe into. Like, I feel like I gotta go up there in order to see anything. Nearly two years of tolerating this nerd. Oh, you've done more than tolerate me, Musty. You know it. Brett, evil son, bro! Thank you for the six month resub. I like it. I like Takistan a lot. I assume that that shot, if it was at me, was coming from that sandbag compound. Karma has more modded guns than I generally like, but it's good for a change of pace. Um, I don't know, man. I think, uh, to be honest, and like, this isn't shit talking any server. Like, Day One, Karma, they're both great servers. Uh, Daisy Underground, you guys know I love them. I feel like Zero has the perfect balance of mods. Like, Zero is my new vanilla, which is both good and bad. It's bad because it makes me feel like I'm not going to enjoy vanilla as much anymore. But, like, Zero has become my vanilla. I just, I love the way this server is balanced. It's so fucking good.
could sneak in on the side again. I don't really want to. I want to get this dude who shot at me. He made me ble bleed my own blood. I don't approve of that. I feel like I want to kill him, but... I just don't know if it's worth the effort. Suplex, you're getting a PC? Nice, man. You're gonna dig the new maps, dude. I'd tell you to check out Namalsk first, I think. I think I'd say Namalsk first. Namalsk and Deer Isle, depending on your mood if you want that PvE challenge. Arrives today? Oh, baby. Pre-built, I assume? Yeah, if you're not looking for the struggle, I would say maybe Dutakistan or uh, Deer Isle. But, oh, man. Namalsk is a good map. It's a really good map. He's probably not even in here anymore. And again, what do I even need? I don't need anything from him. Ah, very cool. 3060. Nice, dude. Built it yourself. So what, the final parts come today? Or are you getting, like, all the parts today? If you've got a day of PC building ahead of you, congratulations. That is fun. Nerve-wracking if it's your first time. But fun. First time? Okay. Um, my advice to you is really just take your time. Like, have be very organized. Have, like, a big open area that you can work. Never, like, if you unscrew a screw, make sure you know exactly where that screw goes to and, like, put it somewhere. Um, obviously, watch a couple guides, especially for, like, CPU installation. Hopefully, you don't have to apply your own thermal paste. Um, and, yeah, just try to relax and have fun with it, you know. If you've got any questions, maybe post, like, a photo in our Discord and uh, see if anybody will answer for you. Don't work on carpet, yes. Don't work on carpet. And probably take your socks off, too. I'm not going to loot. I'm going to sneak my way in and just see if we see this dude. Thermal paste made me super nervous, but I haven't had to do thermal paste for my last couple PCs. The CPU's already had it installed. Go easy with the sledgehammer. Can't aim. I'm getting the feeling he left. Doesn't mean there's not a, a new party here. I an orange saloon. <gasps> and gear. Uh, static wasp, right? Stat, if you're built, if you, like, you have carpet, even if you have your PC on, like, like, I have, like, a wood table that I built my PC on, but if you're wearing socks and your feet are on carpet, um, you know, it could totally kill you. It could totally static your components and fuck shit up. It might be a trap, I don't know. But I am gonna peek. I feel like if it was a trap, it'd be more out in the open. Zombie aggroed on me. Damn it. 
This is where it gets bad, but at least I have the splitting axe. I'm not going to take the orange saloon. I've got too much gear for that. Oh my god. It's not even it's not even a trap, dude. It's somebody loot cycling. They're taking that carbine I saw earlier out of the base. All right. I'm not seeing him, guys, and all the zombies don't seem aggroed either. We're going to head to that um, little industrial area and sort out our loot and hopefully patch up our clothing, too, and just get ourselves organized there. And then we're going to head to the uh, that thing over there. And then we'll start making our way south towards the airfields. No, it'll be frowned upon heavily, but I love the idea of someone leaving orange saloons around to trap you. Huh? I mean, hey, it'd be funny. If people know, like, a server I like to play on, but it would get a little dicey there. Like, that's almost like taking advantage of, like, meta, you know. Oh, shit. Don't see any Zed, so maybe nobody's been nearby it yet. All right, well, our plans just changed. Let's try to get there before anybody else. Uh, Midnight, thank you for the follow. Once again, Evil Sun, bro, I got you. Th uh, sup, Ish, how do you like the new map? I already answered that. I like it a lot. Musty for the 23, thank you. Tweeds, laugh it. I think I caught you guys. Thank you for the files, everybody, and the subs and all the bits and all the stuff. All the stuffy stuffs. Yeah, I think that dude got out of there. I, I think he got some little bits and bobs and he took, he head for the hills. I was looking at this area earlier and I didn't see smoke, so I agree. I think it did just spawn. All right, we're doing pretty good now. We got the warm plate. We've got some decent clothes. We've got an SKS and a Tundra. Also got an M16 for if and when we have enough ammo for that. Still no zombies. I don't think anybody's gotten near it yet. I do need a more orange backpack derby. You're right about that part. Yeah, thank God, Logger. At least I can approach it in a very stealth manner. Actually, I need to go left because there that's where all the military bases are. People are going to be coming from that way. I need to go left around this way so I can catch people moving up on it. And a teddy, of course, Dusk, of course. Man, you guys are bald. bossy with all the stuff that I need to have on me at any given moment. Do I have? I have duct tape. I don't have sewing kits. Food and water's looking good. My clothes could are a bit janky. Hey, Abolus, I would love to see more modded saloons. Ooh, a hatchet. I already got a splitting axe. I'm good with that. Thank you for the file, King Toon. There are modded camo ones. Daisy Underground has like black, dark blue, dark green. Daisy Underground has the best Taloon mods in my opinion. But I would love to see more. Shoes are perfect. Not changing out the shoes for anything until they get badly damaged, Jez. Then I'm going to throw them off a cliff. Yeah, yeah, I swapped the Tundra. I found a guy with a dark Tundra. There are the zombies. But I'm close enough to be aggroing zombies when I see that they're dead that I have to worry. Here's an idea I'd like to throw out there, and I'll try my best to keep up, but again, I, I always feel like I'm in a PvP zone on Takistan. What are your thoughts on plate carriers only at heli crashes? Is that crazy? Like, what if we upped stab vest and press vest spawns? I mean, it's really a problem on Takistan. I don't think that, uh, 
They look perfect. They're only worn at the moment. They're gonna... Oh, no, they're actually pristine. But, yeah, I don't know about that. Like, there's way too too many pre plate carriers on Takistan. But that's a Takistan thing, not vanilla or deer isle or anything like that. You know, vanilla as in Cherno. Anything else. I don't know. I wonder if having them only at... Uh, like, even... You could still do the zombies thing. Like, they only spawn in on zombies at heli crashes. Yeah, I agree, Mobo. On Takistan in particular. Deer Isle, I feel like they're kind of rare. I, I honestly can't speak for Cherno. I haven't been playing enough of it recently. But I remember last time I played on Cherno, it felt fairly balanced. Um, I don't know. Uh, Kid in Play, thank you for the follow. The range. I could camp this so well. 400. That's actually a lot. That's a lot farther than I thought. I would have guessed. I would have guessed two or three. Thing is, is if I go in, and I, I'll have to kill all the zombies most likely. And then I'm in trouble, because people will see. And my camping is no longer an option. Look at that. Just missed them. I think I'm going to go in. I'm going to go for it. I mean, I think the plate carrier Novak is essential. I don't think that having that extra 30% stamina balances out how OP plates are right now. Um, but yeah, and like, honestly, on Takistan, I don't even know. It's not like, um, a ghillie where you're like, oh, ghillies are, tend to be bad. Everybody has it. I mean, fresh spawns. I literally see fresh spawns with, uh, plate carriers on. Like, everybody has them. I don't know if it's necessarily one play style. Yeah, I'm going for it. It's fun. We might get an SVD or something there. Why am I eating this, you ask? No idea. But those guys didn't look like they've seen the smoke. It's going to take them quite a while to loot that. Frankly, we're probably going to hear shots up there in a little bit. Got to wear protection going to rush you. That's what we were talking about earlier. It applies for condoms and plate carriers. If I can sneak in and out without aggroing these Zeds, it would be a beautiful thing. Double wrap's actually bad in all of seriousness, Gunna. Apparently the friction can cause the condoms to break. Stress eating. <laughs> So hard not to aggro any Zeds. If somebody shoots at me, they shoot at me. I'm really going for no aggro right now. I was covering this side, so let's check this. I don't have I kind of want that jacket, but let's stick with what we got for now. Damn it. Take him this way. Take him as far down the hill. Yeah, that was not worth it at all. Literally better off looting, like, a small military encampment. Really? Neither of those landed? That's where I was camping at. I 
I've got some loot to sort out, but I do still kind of want to camp it for a little bit longer. Considering I didn't aggro any, or only aggroed the one zombie, I kind of want to stay in the area for a little. I'm not going to go look at those guys, frankly. I've already had a firefight in that area. Um, and I'll be seeing them again shortly. I'm really not worried about that. If we hear shots, I might go after it. But for now, I kind of want to camp this and sort out my loot. Behind that rock. I can sort out my loot back there. Zombie had the high ground, but I was still within axe distance of him. Uh, you're really left. Thank you for the follow. Oh, that's a good... All right, that's a perfect spot. Tree cover and uh, hard cover. then let's sort some stuff out shall we patch up the pants gotta make ourselves look fly guys look at those suppressors god damn Pick up our vest no I don't I, I needed it early on when I had only a knife as a melee weapon but I don't need it anymore um, I don't really need that anymore uh, but boy but boy but boy don't need that Really need to make sure that all my bandages are disinfected because sometimes they get damaged and they lose their disinfected status. Disinfected, 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 disinfected. All right, that's good. All right. Um, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Need that. Stack that. Stack that. The stuff I'm not using down here. Do I have a belt? That was the last character. No belt. We patch the pants one more time? No, we can't. All right. More use of the uh, hacksaw. This is what the people are here for, Mezzo. What can I do? What else can I do? This is the content people want to see. All right. That there. Um, got the spare on Dodge. Sorry, the spare battery. That up there. I'm really tempted to just use the M16. Can I put that suppressor on the M16? Oh, <laughs> so OP, dude. Ridiculously OP. I don't think I have the ammo to use the M16 quite yet. So I'm going to stick with the SKS. And put the holster on the plate. Good call. There it is. Ferrari, what's up, man? There was that ADS bug again, guys. You saw that, right? Maybe it's because I was too bit too quickly taking my gun out and then trying to ADS, but I did the tap right click to aim down sight. He started it and then he just stopped. So I gotta be slower to ADS once I take my gun out. Dude, you could literally just camp this area all day and just get kills all freaking day. Eventually somebody's gonna get you, of course. But it's just, there's just so much action by this military base. Where was that from? Wasn't from the heli. I 
I legitimately have no idea where he's shooting from. But he's getting close, so I don't think I should, uh... I, I can't really stop and aim. Gotta be like 600 meters. I'm gonna go downhill now because he thinks I'm going right. I don't want to stand still and range it right now because I'm planning on flanking anyways. Let's get behind this rock. He's looking to my left. He thinks I went uphill, so let's get behind that rock and then maybe we can range it. Because I gotta nail this shot. I'm only going to get one shot at it. Can't aim. He dipped behind the hill and I haven't seen him since. I kind of want to go the whole way around the heli crash and look for him. I think I'm going to do that. I don't, I don't see him po poking his head up, so I think I'm going to go around this hill and try to get back behind him. Yeah, I'm gonna flank. Even if he's there, I'm gonna flank. Oh, dude, you rock, Omerita. Thank you. Holy crap, look at... Look at this crap. All the disappearing stuffs. I was gonna say, I think I got a zombie coming after me. on three sub hope you're having a good one man doing one more little poke i haven't seen him in a while i'm gonna go with the flank i think it's a smart move napa good day to you sir hope all's well all's great napa thank you so much for the uh, 13 months hope everything is well with you Yeah, well, I, I'm not seeing him, so I'm gonna flank. I'm so busy, like, it, it's it's something that I'm still struggling to get used to. And, like, again, like, this is kind of similar to the Q&E thing we were talking about earlier. Like, I never want to stand still for more than a second on this map. Like, you have to just keep moving. And it makes it kind of difficult for me to spot players, because I'm, like, so focused on looking in every direction at once and keeping moving and moving and moving, like... I, I, it, it makes it very difficult to spot these dudes. I'm not going to lie. There's definitely going to be people down there. Uh, Alex and Savage, thank you for the follows. This is like the dead center of the map. It's called uh, uh, Firuzabad. Another heli? Jeez Louise. 
It's called Firuz Abad. And it's got... It's probably the most popular PvP area of the server... Or the map. It gets pretty crazy in this area. Well, I agree, actually. Because I, I guess some people are saying that he wasn't skylining when they last saw him. Which is probably why I missed him. Staying in the middle of the mountain is much better than being on top. The only advantage that being on top has is you're drawing attention. So somebody might shoot at you and then you know where they are. And then you can dip over the other side of the mountain. And then you have hard cover. But it makes you really easy to spot. Like, I'm still just, like, looking up the hill. I should be checking mid-hills. But it's just so hard to spot those little players. Ooh, there's the palace. So that's the hill he was on. I hate this scope. There he is! I don't like that he's looking my way. He's going to see me eventually. He was also heading the direction that I was going to head. Where'd he go? How did I lose him? He must have moved over the hill. It was way short. I think he went over the hill. Hey, dollface. Uh, yeah, that'd be that'd be great when you get a chance. Uh, yeah, not 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 now, honey. I love you so much. Dude, I'm getting close. I, I gotta, I gotta bail on this. At least to reload really quick. Ranging up to 800. Fucking, he's only uncon though. Yeah, run, bitch. That's right. That's right, motherfucker. Peek me again, I dare you. 800 meter shot, man. I, I don't know what to do here because I do want to push him, but I don't really think I can. I'm gonna try to push him as best I can. He's gonna see this flank coming. That's like a tough thing though, because it's like. Obviously, bullets should do less damage when they're uh, further away, you know, bullet velocity and all that. But it's like, ugh, how am I supposed to finish that off, you know? Uh, holy shit, Eccentric Enchanter, thank you for the 13 months, dude. Hey, he's backing off. I, I doubt it hurt him all that much. But a man can hope and dream. He was going left, so I'm gonna go right. That might be the longest shot I've ever landed. 800 meters? I honestly think that might be the longest shot I've ever landed. 
I heard that Amish said it's a big problem in not finishing. Uh, no, believe me, that is not the problem. That is not the problem. Quite the opposite, I must say. <laughs> isn't that just the male struggle, isn't it? That's true, LJ, that's true. But it is like, you know, what are you supposed to do there? I just got unlucky of his positioning. If he had been, it's great that he went unconscious, I will say. If he had been knocked unconscious and I could have seen his body, I could have finished him off. But unfortunately, that's not how it went down. So he's up that hill. I just, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to see him. Lowering my range for now. He's going to be so far by the time I'm in the area. Well, I scared him off. Good lord, nothing else. <laughs> For the record, guys. Lady said it's a happy woman, alright? I'm just joking around. <laughs> Eccentric, where were you, man? I know that uh, Inclement Dab was in Philly recently. Where were you, dude? Or did you say you were going to Redding? I think I heard you say yes, that you were going to Redding. As you. What I say is, if and when that does happen to any young lads out there, you've got many other means of getting the lady where she needs to be. Just because you're done doesn't mean it's done. Like Uber. <laughs> yes, like Uber, exactly. Alpaca, dude, I'm from uh, Lancaster, man. I want to get to the crest of this hill and look around for him, but I, I don't know. I, I think he's going to see my push coming. I think he's going to get as far away as possible. Uh, Rusk, Rusk, Ruski, thank you for the follow. Sniper, I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. We're doing some sniping, which is good fun. I think he was at the top, like up there. Dude, the whole zooming your eyes in, you just can't not do it on this map. I don't really want to go to the top because I feel like he's going to see me if I do. Oh, Alpaca, I was just in uh, in that area. I was in um, actually Drums, Pennsylvania for a wedding last night. But uh, my wife is from the Bethlehem area. My brother went to Lehigh. Yeah, we were bummed that we didn't get to go to Music Fest this year. We were thinking about it, but uh, we decided not to at the last minute. We'll go next year. Yeah, Drums, Pennsylvania. I don't really know what's there besides a Holiday Inn Express that I will say was just damp just damp weird everything felt wet weird uh and a country club where my friends got married or lady zed's friends but they're my friends now too aren't they he was going this way to the right dude seriously though derby they didn't have any um what do you call it like a uh a humid dehumidifier in the bathroom. So ladies had took a shower and like, she likes her showers boiling hot. Like she's literally searing the flesh from her bones. I don't understand how she takes showers that are that hot. Um, but uh, so it was really, really humid from that. But even when we got back and woke up the next day, it was like, I picked up my pants that were on the ground. I'm like, they feel wet. Like what is up with that? It's so weird. Uh, dat boy. Thank you for the follow. Going up. 
Uh, I don't know. Honestly, Kevin, I don't really pay attention to the... I, I try not to look at that stuff too much, but I think masks might be trying to come back. I know that I'm trying to get in the habit of wearing them again. But that's a less fun topic. Women can bathe in lava. Lady Zed certainly can. Uh... Are her footsteps? Really thought I heard footsteps. It's not at me. Can't even tell if it's on my side of the hill. Buckets! You mad lad! Thank you so much for the five gifteds, man. I can't read them out right now. I'm just trying to check every one of these bushes. He was right around here when he when I was shooting at him. I'm kind of hoping that he's looking the way of the shots we just heard. Fuck, it's end shorty. You guys are crazy. Hey, you could have gone down into there. See, I'm not seeing any zombies there. Fuck, it's end shorty. Thank you both for the five gifteds each. You guys are incredible. I appreciate you both so much. I just can't read out the messages yet because I'm a douchebag. All right. 200 meters just in case somebody's close. Man, he's he's long gone. I, I got no idea where he is. I've just got no fucking clue. And frankly, I'm ready to just like head somewhere else maybe, you know? Still zombies there. Nobody's looted that shit heli since I went there. Thank you so much. I love you. I can't tell if I'm getting close. I know, I'm intentionally ranged to 800. It seemed like it was the, uh, the same distance as the guy I was shooting at originally. But maybe I was going way high, and that's why I'm not seeing the shots land. I can't get too distracted by that guy, though. The guy I was originally shooting at might still be in the area. Oh, man, it's over 800. Over a thousand, so I was like way low. The s sniping on this map is absolutely insane, dude. It's so crazy. He might not have even heard. If I was landing, two, my shots were landing 200 meters, maybe even more short, he might never have heard my shot or the impact. Once again, trying not to skyline here. Sometime soon, I'm going to leave. I swear I will. But I'm just going to leave and go south towards the airfield. Eventually, somebody's going to get me from behind. I just kind of want to look around for this dude a little bit more. 
see if he's recovering anywhere. Oh, Lady Zed made me a wonderful sandwich. I feel bad that I'm being so rude to her. I love you, Lady Zed! It's just hard with this sniping happening. Uh, okay, I can read him really quick. Jay Perkins, doing work, random captain, range scrapper, moose pup. You guys all have buckets to thank. Mr. Osborne, Gene, Black Dambo, Karate Twatty, and Strange Tormentor. You all have Shorty to thank. You guys are both amazing. Thank you so very much. Like, you could literally... Th th the firefight in that area will never end. It will absolutely never end. It'll just be happening with new players over and over and over again. What scares me is that somebody could be in like one of these bushes. It's like I gotta clear these bushes and then I can start sniping from here. But it's so dangerous no matter what you do. This is such a prime sniping spot. Poor little freshy. Perkins, you got gifted a sub by Buckets, I believe. 600, 700. At Spojo, thank you for the follow. There's another one to the left. Uh. Oh, how is he not uncon? I think he's still alive, too. <gasps> Where's the other dude? Dude, this suppressor, and it's only worn, too. This suppressor is bonkers overpowered. The, the first shot that hit him was great, because he was still walking there. That was a great shot. <whistles> indeed, Prometheus, indeed. It's insane. A suppressor that, like, never wears out as well. Uh, Joker, thank you for the follow. Karma, no, this is a modded map, Takistan. Nah, I don't see anybody looting him, but I am going to cover him for a while. Yeah, there's that zombie. There was a fresh spawn and there was another geared player. Obviously, I want the geared player. This is fun, though. I can't believe we got the tundra and the scope and the ammo from, like, a random dude sitting in a bush. People keep saying by the body, but I'm literally only seeing the, uh, the zombie running around. But. I mean, if I'll see him or I won't, I honestly literally need to, like, stop taking the meta from the chat. Because it, it actually makes me play worse, I think. Yeah, like, that's a zombie. I, I really don't know what people are talking about. I think I am skylining the hill. 
Or are you talking about him? Yeah, I'm literally seeing nobody over there. I'm assuming he's staying in the same area. They've been freaking camping that area for a long time. Since I was on the other hill. But I'm not seeing him like you guys are, apparently. Sandstorm rolling in. We'll wait another couple minutes. And I might actually try to go loot that body while the sandstorm's up. See if he's got some M16 or some Tundra ammo for me. <laughs> emote only. Hey, I actually always love when TRMZ's chat goes into emote only. I have so much fun with it. Spam the shit out of any emotes you got, people. We don't have to keep it on for long, though. I I, I need to get better at not... Like, like as, as everyone's trying to be helpful, and I appreciate that. But it really does make it more difficult for me. It makes me get in my own head. It makes me feel like I'm missing people. Like, there are times it's incredibly helpful. Like, when it started and we were here and someone went, up on the hill, up on the hill. Like, that was very helpful. You know, but then it gets to a point where it's just like, I can't tell where you're referencing. And it just gets to be more damaging than it is helpful. Looting that body is going to be very dangerous, but I'm going to go for it. I'm hoping we scared that guy off. Oh, this sandwich looks good. Oh, it's got avocado in it. It's too big and messy, though. I can't eat it right now. Hat skills. Thank you for the follow. He's going to be right nearby here, and he's going to have, like, an AK or something. He's going to light me up. Uh, Crow Savage. Thank you for the follow. Cats on LSD. Thank you for the follow. Karma. Thank you for the follow. I think I'm caught up. But yeah, it's just like... It's one of those things that I'm not used to. I, I, I love talking to chat, and I'm obviously always going to. But in firefights, it's kind of tough to find the balance of chatting versus playing, you know? And obviously, the past couple weeks, the view count has been way, way up. Which, thank you all for being here. Everybody who's new and everybody who's been around forever. Appreciate it. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Gunther, thank you for the follow. I actually think I'm going to use the M16 while I'm getting close to it. Forever? Forever, ever? Forever, ever? Wowza, Meza! That's a lot of people. Thank you all for being here. Hope everyone's having a great day. Did you know that following is free and that I have a YouTube channel? Always be plugging, chat. Always be plugging. Ooh, semi-auto. I want on burst. No way! No fucking way, Jez. Are you serious? You better not be messing with me, dude. I will throw your shoes into a volcano if you're messing with me. Two hours until a trailer update? They won't update the... They won't actually update the map for a couple of days, probably, right? Teaser trailer. Oh, I hope we get some aliens. I'm gonna fuck an alien. I'm gonna fuck an alien. We'll watch it together, guys. Don't worry, we will watch it together. Namalsk update teaser trailer, apparently. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Ooh. Tactical helmet.
I'm just taking everything. Everything that I can. What SKS do I have? I have a dark one too. Alright. I'm gonna get out of here. Let's go down. Hopefully I can aim this correctly and we can get to that uh, industrial area. And we can sort out our loot there. His buddy totally abandoned him, Meza. Like, people said that they saw him on the hill. I didn't see him. But either way, he's been abandoned now. Never even bothered to try to get the loot. J Red, dude! Thank you for the stream on 3 sub, man! Oh, Oris! Or, uh, uh, sorry, Oris, dude. That's awesome. Alright, I'm glad to hear you got the sale. I think it's a little silly of him to get that upset about it. I guess, like, it's just weird calling somebody Amish. Like, it'd be one thing if you called him, like, Ishmael. He'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, I just... Like, I, I was talking to somebody named Ishmael a, a little bit ago. But calling him Amish, like, he might have taken that as an insult. Like, you backward-ass motherfucker. Michael69, how you doing, dude? Was an older dude? Okay, yeah, maybe he thought you were, like, making fun of him for lack of technical abilities or something. I think it's up this hill. No, um, unfortunately no M16 ammo on that guy, which is what I was looking for. I think if I follow this, is that going to take me where I want to go? I think it's as good a guess as any. Oh my god, who added that one? LJ, I don't think I actually said, oh, <laughs> evil son, bro. Uh, LJ, I don't think I actually said hi to you. Hope you're good, dude. Send dudes, welcome. Samuel, welcome, welcome. I feel like I should have been curving. Watch this takes me right back to where I was. I'll only go white with a gap, but that's still lower than I want to go. I would have also fucked off if my buddy just got dropped and I had no idea where he was from. That's a good point, yeah. Gassed up, how you doing, by the way? Elite Shack, welcome, welcome. I'm missing anybody. Hello. I'm just caught outside in a sandstorm. Here we go. Here's something. I've got to get rid of something. I can't carry the SKS and the M16 forever. Dirty dog, how you doing? Oh my god, I'm right back at the Millie base. Right? Yep. I don't really want to be here in the sandstorm. But I, I want to get inside. I don't know how you saw me. I'm not gonna be able to hear anybody creeping up on me. It's gonna be a big problem. Does this even count as indoors? It doesn't appear to count as indoors. Oh, there we go, there we go. All right, healing up now.
I don't want the NVG scope. I don't really want that either. This is not the worst area to camp, though, while you're waiting. Waiting out of the storm. You can see outside. You've got some decent cover. No, we haven't, Nate, but I'm excited to see the trailer. We'll definitely watch it here. two of those this down here oh I can't put the water bottle on the belt too getting a belt off of that guy was like the best thing I got off of him I honestly grumble. My my bet is aliens. Like not literally like aliens to fight, but potentially an alien planet to visit. I, I'm I'm not even joking about that. That's literally my prediction. I hope I'm right. Sniper. Oh, I already caught you. You're saying hi to Nate. Uh, Mato saying to the follow. Uh, a new Namals content update apparently. Cannot wait. Lanimal OG22. How you guys doing? I think I'm over the tracer rounds. I don't really need them anymore. But I guess I'm going to hold on to him for some reason. Oh, good golly. I got too much loot, dude. It's it's absurd. It's really absurd, actually. Um, chips, thank you for the follow. I'm keeping them just in case we find a 74. I'll find a new knife. I don't really need to use that one. I can go on my belt, and then I can actually put these over here. I doubt there would be a connection, but I'm really intrigued. The new lab on Deer Law having Athena 2 stuff on the computer screens. I assume that's mostly, like, John McClane borrowing some stuff from, uh, from the malls. But you never know. But yeah, honestly, I think that there's going to be a way to activate another portal in A3 that will take you to, like, an alien planet of some sort. That's my bet. I don't know. I, I, it, it's, it's kind of a, a big ask. It's a far-out bet, but I don't know. I think that that would be the coolest shit ever. And uh, that's, that's honestly my prediction. I think that that red button above the generator, you're going to push that, and then if you jump in the portal at... A3, it'll take you to an alien planet that we've seen teased a couple of times. All right, I don't want to get out of I don't want to be here when people are coming out of their hidey holes. I'm going to leave. I think I'm ready to be done with this area. There's just been too many shots, and eventually it's I'm going to be on the receiving end of one. So I want to head down to the um, military area down below. We'll check that for more... M16 ammo, and hopefully we can get rid of a whole bunch of shit and just rock the M16 Tundra combo. Uh, stan Standard? Thank you for the follow. I'm bugged. can't put my gun away. Awesome. I'm gonna have to log. If I get sniped at right now, I'm a dead man. I literally can't swap, take my tundra out. You and me, D-Bear. We'll call it D-Bear and Amish's alien planet. Alien, uh, sexy alien paradise is what we'll call it. 
Use a rock for what? I know that there's like a change in elevation thing. Yep, still can't do it. Uh, I killed a couple of them, Loris. I killed one camping a bush, got the tundra, sniped at a couple others several times, including enough times for them to come back to their bodies. And then I just decided to leave because it was just going to be that over and over and over again. And frankly, I find that really dull. Honestly, I don't do a whole lot of edit unedited VODs like TRMZ does. I do it every once in a while. So the way this is shaping up, I'm going to have to... Uh, I might have to port, port this in. Because it's been incredibly action-packed. A lot of really cool snipes. And to be honest with you, I don't really know how I could edit this into an edited video. I almost feel like an unedited live stream makes more sense. And then I have a, a video on backup for in case I don't have anything one week coming up. Because with the wedding and all the extra work I'm going to do for risk consulting. I don't think I'm going to have time to edit every single week. So it'll be good to have something as a backup. So I'm speaking to the YouTubers watching this in four weeks. Hello. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> don't smash that like button though. That's mean. The like button never did anything to deserve it. Just gently press the like button. Very gently guys, please. I'm going to log in this bush. We're in a little alley. Hopefully no one sees us. No, don't smash it hard, Derby. You don't always have to smash it hard. Sometimes that's not right to do. Sometimes you have to make some love. And fucking give it some smooches, too. Which is worse, Omerta? When I actually sing or when I just speak the words of a song? Alright, let's try this sandwich. I have the best one. Opal, you got it. I see your sub. Sometimes you have to say, hey, I'm gonna fuck you softly. I'm gonna screw you sweetly. I'm gonna hump you sweetly. I'm gonna bone you. Here come the violins discreetly. And then you say, hey, I brought you flowers. And then you say, wait a minute, Sally. Wait, how's this part go? Like, Got something in my teeth. That's fucking teamwork. What's your favorite position, bigger guys? That's cool with me. It's not my favorite, but I'll do it for you, bigger guys. What's your favorite dish? I'm not going to make it, but I ordered it from Sansaba. And then I'm going to bone you sweetly. This is where I start repeating myself. That's enough. That's enough now. I think you got something in my teeth. Can you get it out from me? That's fucking teamwork. I know you did, Norris. What do I apply about compensation for the broken windows now? <laughs> it's going to be a class action lawsuit, Nuck. So just get on board. Oh, I've done it, game. I've done it. See, I did have my Tundra out. Voice of an angel. Game, so one time during a deathmatch event or a death squad event, I got on the radio and sang that song to Happy Bombs. Happy Bounce was never the same after that, guys. He was a forever a changed man. Nah, I got bugged, Grumble. I had to change. I had to re-log. Yeah, this isn't really a good megaphone map. 
It would be kind of tough. Dude, I can't believe we landed an 800 meter shot and got a 700 meter kill. That's pretty awesome. I like it. I like, I like it a lot. I like it, like it a lot. <gasps> Boo to bugs indeed. I agree with you. Boo bugs. How dare you bugs. So bad. I need to do a duet with TSP. TSP can actually sing though, if I'm not mistaken. It's actually rather unfortunate because I sing a lot more than most streamers, but I'm finding out that streamers like Omerita and TSP are actually talented. Oh, man. Oh, I should have waited. I feel a code brown coming on. Oh, fuck. I should have done that before I uh, logged back in. Did your singing make him unhappy, Bombs? Yes, it did, John Morris. Yes, it did. All right. Let's see if this works. Hold on. Um, excuse me? That wasn't suppressed. But it worked. It worked as intended. No, it didn't. It worked terribly. I wonder if players hear it loud like that. No, I didn't kill the 800 meter dude. I did kill a 700 meter dude, though. Ooh, there's our megaphone. All right, let's go lock him in this uh, blue door shed here. Yeah, but I'm firing my own shot. I wonder if another player is going to hear it differently than I just heard it. 700 meters is probably the longest kill I've ever, longest range kill I've ever gotten. Come on, zombies. Don't tell me that these idiots can't come in here. Really? All right, I gotta go kill them in this little area. I don't want people to see the dead zombies. <laughs> EA freak, dude! Thank you for the seven month resub. How the hell you been? I hope the answer is well. Swell and well. All right, screw it. We don't need that ammo. Okay, what do I want to keep, guys? I got to get rid of something. Like, I feel like I got to stash the M16 until I have more ammo for it. Not much, EA Freak. We've been uh, getting some really fun sniper kills today on this uh, stream. It's been really, really fun. My M16's not hot bar because I only have 20 bullets in it. So I'm kind of sticking with the SKS for now. I also need a pistol suppressor. I love the Glock, dude. The Glock is such a dope gun. Whoops. Uh, STN, this is Takistan. I can put that. Oh, I've got two water bottles, apparently. I want to keep the black one. Yeah, I think it looks really cool, LJ. I really dig the, uh, the Glock look, especially with the, um, the optic on it. Okay, I want to keep that. I want to keep that. Really don't need this tracer ammo, but it's kind of hard to get rid of. I guess I don't need the Mosin ammo. And I could load up this really quick. I'm not a fan either, Death Magnet. People love Glocks, and my friend, my, uh, my firearms consultant, Sir Brimshot, tried to convince me to get one because he's a big Glock guy. I, I'm just not into the trigger action. I don't like the way the trigger feels on Glocks. All right, so how many bandages do we really need? All of them. All of them. I mean, they're supposed to be some of the most reliable guns, right? Like, almost never jam. 
I'm a Zed. I can't take it right now. Sorry. Sorry, lady. All right, do I want the Wanderer's backpack still? Is the red giving my position away? I hope not. But yeah, I just wasn't comfortable with the trigger action for some reason. It felt weird to me. Look at that. Suppressors on every gun we have, except for... Uh, except for our Glock. Yeah, I just didn't like the action, Romer. So, if I'm not mistaken, the way that the trigger works on a Glock is it is... It has that little button... Uh, as like a trigger safety and I'm never a big fan of those or is it the double lever one? It might be the double lever one. Honestly, I can't even remember All right, well, I guess we're holding on to my pistol or my uh, m16 for now One box of ammo is all I need God, Why is she always blowing me up, dude? I own five and I love them. Yeah, people, it's like, I feel like Glocks are like the Volkswagen of um, of pistols. Like, if you love them, it's like all you want to use. Like, you, you're like loyal to the brand and you'll never shoot anything else. But if you don't like them, you kind of like hate them, you know? I like my Smith & Wesson, even though I've only been able to shoot it three times. Like, literally, I'm trying to imagine what the trigger looks like. I can't imagine it because I've only shot it literally three times. I gotta just suck it up and buy some ammo. Take the hit. Cat, because old dog new tricks and I don't like to get my guns bugged out because sometimes holding R to reload bugs out your guns. I do use uh, R to reload sometimes, but I prefer to use the hot bar when I can. Springfield, ooh. It's funny, I think of like rifles when I hear Springfield or Winchester. I know they're just companies. But I always think of rifles because of video games. I love mine, W. I love mine. Damn. Should have brought it on my vacation. We could have gone shooting. However, if Lady Zed wasn't into the idea of me even, like, getting drinks with people on our honeymoon, I doubt she would have been into the idea of going to a shooting range on our honeymoon. Yeah, I'm sure it is, Crudman. Honestly, there was a time as an American that it was weird for me, too. I only fired my first gun at the age of 21. So, like, it's not something I grew up with. So, it was weird for me, too. There was a long time that I didn't understand it. And then I, you know, I, a friend, or my uncle took me shooting. I liked it fine. Then eventually my friend took me shooting. And I was like, oh, this is really fun, man. I assure you, Dirty Dog, I did not. Last night, I hung out with my wife and played uh, Subnautica on the Switch out back. While she read, um, while she read Invincible, a comic book. And I was like, God damn, this is the perfect woman. Reading a comic book while I'm gaming outside. Oh my God, perfect woman. I have some butter knives and an Ikea teg, uh, table leg. I'm good for the apocalypse. You're great. You are so good. Just duct tape the butter knives to the Ikea leg and you're fine. 24 Joy. So I once heard a story about my grandma... I thought that was a player. Um, my grandma, apparently, when she was in fourth grade, she used to go walking around the neighborhood and felt that she needed some sort of protection. Oh, shit! A Humvee! Ooh, let's see if we can catch up with it. Um, and she, her, her idea of protection when she was in fourth grade was uh, carrying a butter knife around with her. So my grandma would carry a butter knife with her in fourth grade while walking around her neighborhood, put it in her sock and in her shoe thinking that that would be good protection against anybody who tried to attack her. My grandma was a freaking badass. I love that woman. I miss her dearly. Ooh, Wolves of Cal is a really good one too, W. I kind of want to get a tattoo, Joy. The idea I had when she passed away was Little Red Riding Hood looking into a dark forest with like eyes looking back at her and holding a butter knife behind her back. I thought that that could be a really, really cool uh, little tribute to my grandmother tattoo. However, the issue with that is, is that I think that my grandmother would have hated the idea of me getting a tattoo in her honor. She, I, I can't even remember. Did she ever see the tattoo on my arm? 
I don't think she did. I don't think she ever saw it. Maybe she did. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to see if it was parked over here, but I have a feeling that, uh... I have a feeling they just kept on trucking. Uh, we, we, have, we have no idea. Is there, Bo? Never heard of it. I wouldn't want people to get that confused with my tattoo idea, though. High points just reliable as Glock, but much uglier. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think we're good. I mean, I don't mind people like if people are just straight up trashing the devs or something. I, I have a problem with that, but you know, the running simulator mean I'm not too bothered by it. You know. Oh, jeez, Louise, Hoover, that's weird. Butter knife? How could you get in trouble for that? That's ridiculous. But yeah, it is an interesting thing. Back to what we were originally talking about. Like, I totally get how a lot of Europeans feel and think it's crazy. But I'm also the guy who felt that same way and then transitioned into... You know, I don't consider myself a gun nut. But I have a gun and I like to shoot it when I can. <laughs> when I can fucking afford bullets, you know. But it is, it is an interesting cultural thing that the U.S. has that a lot of other places don't. Anywho. <laughs> I once knew a guy that took a high point to Iraq. Boom, 10 months later, herpes. <laughs> I play with the suppressor sniper rifles. I'm reserving judgment, but I feel I think it is too OP, Bobby. I I'm using it, and I can tell you it's too OP. The one guy, the 800 meter hit, he hit me, or he was shooting back at me. He spotted me, so maybe my muzzle flash or something gave my position away. But those guys by the base at the bottom of the hill there, they had no damn clue where I was shooting from. They were so clueless. It wasn't even fair shooting at them. Imagine putting a, 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 that suppressor on a foul. That would be crazy. Drop cheesy, dude. Thank you for the 300 biddies, man. That is very, very kind of you. Let me get three of those in there for you. Thank you. Ooh, zambies. Whamby zambies. By the way, TSP, I've had a lot of people talking about how much they liked you in that video. And I keep telling them to go to your channel. So I hope you saw a couple of follows from that thing. Oh, he's too young for that. I know that in some places, they teach kids to shoot at like six years old. Which, you know, that's your prerogative as a parent. If you're teaching them gun safety, I think actually getting them started young, as long as it's safety focused, is good. But goddamn, he can't do that. We were talking, what were we talking, what were we watching? We were watching a movie. Oh my God, The Hunt. Guys, The Hunt is an incredible movie and I and we are not doing politics, okay? But this is what I'll say about The Hunt. It is a very politically divisive movie, but it's amazing because what it does is it makes both sides of the aisle look absolutely fucking ridiculous. Yeah, and that's pretty common in certain areas, Nate. Oh my God, it is such a good movie. Um, it literally makes extremists on both sides of the aisle look like fucking morons. And I absolutely love the movie for that. Plus, it's gory as hell and really, really fun. Um, but oh my god, it was so funny. And there's a moment where, like, a guy... Somebody gives a girl a gun. And she's like, I don't know how to use that. And he's like, it's easy. Can you do this? And he, like, moves his finger, like, pulling a trigger. He's like, then you can do it. And Lady Zed's like, nah, -uh, it's not that easy. I can tell you from experience. I can do that, but I can't shoot a gun because she literally cannot load a gun. Like she can't cock the, the the slide or whatever. She can't do it. She's too weak. 
<laughs> I want to take her shooting, but I honestly don't know if she's careful or capable. I gotta remember to check in those windows. I'm going up the hill. It's gotta have been over a year since I've gone shooting wildcats. I'm like, I sound like such a pleb. That if I ever, if she ever wants a pistol for herself, Steven, that's my plan is get her a revolver. Really, all I wanted her to be able to do is un check and make sure that the gun is unloaded. But to be honest, Lady Zed doesn't have the experience to be touching that thing at all. Mine is not easy racking, Mel. It is not easy racking. Frankly, there was a time the slide release was so, so stiff that I had to use two thumbs, both my thumbs, to release the slide when I had it locked in the open position. I'm a 4-H rifle coach. I have NRA certification in gun safety. I teach eight-year-old kids gun safety, importance of responsible gun ownership for a year before I teach them how to shoot a BB gun. That That is that chaos. That is awesome, dude. That is awesome. I mean, you've been around long enough that you know that I'm just like super safety focused. Like I had already, I already knew how to handle a gun, but because I was going to buy one, I decided to take another safety class just for the hell of it, you know? And it, and it wasn't cheap. It was a hundred bucks. But, uh, I mean, you know that I'm safety focused, but that's fucking, that's bloody amazing, dude, honestly. Because that's the most important part about it, is that people know how to handle it safely. Kevin, we do sub plays every once in a while. That's like the only fair way to go about it. Um, I've been really slacking on the sub plays recently. <laughs> Uh, that sucks, dude. I even hit him. I even hit him, dude. Unbelievable. What a shit way to end there. Oh my god, what a shit way to end that character. Holy fuck. That sucked, dude. And he was such a shit shot. I shouldn't have stopped running. Like, he missed every shot until I stood still and started shooting back at him. I was so- I, I was talking to, to chat and I just- I let him get right in front of me without seeing him, man. What a pleb, though. Holy crap, dude. If I had had the SKS out right away, I would have had him, dude. But I had to swap. Maybe I could have tried to hip fire with a Tundra, but I think I would have died doing that. Oh, my God.